Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Barry. Today, I'm going to be talking about brake rotors, specifically fitting in brakes. Why? Because I just swapped out my OEM rotors that were 100,000 miles over to these RR Racing Competition two-piece rotors. Um, one benefit is that uh, with the two-piece rotor, it's supposed to dissipate, dissipate heat a lot better and it's lighter, so better steering response and better uh, overall, just lighter, makes the car lighter. But I did try to bed in the brakes yesterday, but today I'm gonna show you why it is not fully bedded in and what is the proper procedure. If you notice, it's very reflective up there and reflective down there, and you'll notice that in the middle, it is not. So up here, touching down to the middle, touching to the bottom here, I can describe to you that here has a lot, it feels a lot more grabby, a lot more friction, and here feels a lot more softer, and here is a lot more uh, grabby and, and I feel more friction. As the more reflective it is, it is more friction in that area. Uh, what you can also see is that in this area, you can see a little bluish tint, and that is what they describe when they talk about having a bluish tint film. That is from the brake pad material. That's from the brake pad material going onto the brake rotor itself and then um, being heated so much that it gets infused into the brake rotor. Essentially, bedding in brakes means you're gonna uh, break in the new brakes. So let me show you the other side. So here you can definitely see bluish tint right there. You can also see the same thing right in the middle. Here it's kind of, it's a lot of friction and it's really soft here and then friction there. So I'm gonna show you the process of how to bed in the brakes and hopefully I can brake a lot more times because bedding in brakes will help me help the brake rotor last longer and it'll help the brake pad last longer too. There are many ways to do it, but essentially it's just going very fast, holding it and then coming to a sudden stop, not a complete stop, but about 15 to 20 miles per hour. So first one, they say go about 45 miles an hour and then brake to 15 miles an hour. And then you repeat that speed three to four times. And then you go a little faster, a little gradual increase in speed. And you go about 60, to 70 miles an hour and break down to 15. That right there will generate enough heat and friction that it will, will generate enough friction which will become heat and then that will infuse the brake pad, thin layer of brake pad material and infuse it into the brake rotor. Therefore, it will give you the shiny, shiny brake rotor result. Because if you do notice, if you do look at your OEM rotors or other rotors, they are a lot more reflective then this. This right here is how it comes. This is what we want. And without wasting any more time, let's go find a clear road, no traffic, and let's do this safely. I'd like to think I found a pretty straight road. Okay, I'm about to go to 45 and then break to 15. And a lot of my stuff just fell. time I do it at 45 miles an hour okay so now that was so this is 45 miles an hour to 15 now I'm gonna do 60 65 to 15 once these cars are cleared that heat by increasing the speed and stop I took a quick stop just to show you what the 45 to 0 looks like not bad so far now we're gonna do 60 to 0 
we got the driver's side, 45 to 0, or 45 to 15, sorry. This is what it looks like. We got a little more work to do. Alright, let's get the 65. Alright, let's get up to 65 and break. Oh, 65 and come to a 15. Alright, let's just go, let's go. Breaking is feeling better. I think this bedding process is actually working because I can feel G-force. Nobody? Okay. Let's try one higher. So far, so good. I'm gonna find a stopping point and take a look outside. Mm, that thing stops. This thing stops. Man. Right, I've come to a complete stop and turn it off. I gotta tell you, this brake bedding in procedure, it will give you a headache because the amount of G force is going and then stopping, going and stopping. Man, my frontal lobe right here is killing me. But anyways, let's take a look at the brake rotors. Okay, see that bluish film? That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Wow. That means I did a good job bedding them in. Let's see what the other side looks like. But yeah, bluish film. That's what we want, bluish film. This right here is a sign of brake pad material getting on. Sign of brake pad material going on and uh, doing its thing. All right guys, and just like that, that is how you bed in brake rotors and brake pads. Well, I'm gonna be using, I'm actually using the last set of brake pads because I'm actually going to be a doing a performance test out here and testing the OEM rotors versus these new ones. But this is how you, do the procedure. You go to 45, go to 15, do that about five times, and then you go to 65 or 70 and break to 15, and that'll be about five to 10 times. And you wanna do this all, each stretch, each run, do it within a minute of the last one. Preferably right after the other in a series, continuous series, because you wanna keep the heat build up, the friction building up to generate the heat to bed in the brakes so you can get that blue film. But anyways, if you guys think you learned something, please let me know. Please leave comments and please comment the questions you have below. And please like, comment, subscribe to this video if you think you learned something. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. Peace.